Everyone knows that the sun can heat the metal sheets of a roof up to 40 or 50 degrees Celsius, and therefore many people might have come up with the idea of directing this heat inside the house. For example, this architect was designing these houses with similar metal roofs, where a fan takes the room air and directs it above this thermal insulation, inside this gap, and it is obvious that these hot metal sheets heat up the air. Then the air returns to the rooms warming them slightly, but before that the hot air goes through this gap in the walls and floors, where it gives off its thermal energy to the bricks and concrete so that they heat the house at night. This is the kilowatt hours of heat that will be produced by a metal roof with an area of 70 square meters, and you can compare it to these heating needs of a house with an area of 100 square meters. You see that the thermal energy from the roof completely covers these heating needs at the beginning and end of the heating season, but the percentage of the coverage in these months is from 30 to 60 percent. The main cause of this unevenness is this average ambient air temperature, which not only increases these heating needs but also significantly reduces this daily heat production from one square meter of the roof. It was my calculation for a house in this region of the central United States, which has this climate during its heating season, and you see that winter is not very cold, and the percentage of sunny hours is even higher than on Spanish beaches in summer. Of course, moving the house towards the north reduces the efficiency of this heating system due to lower ambient temperatures, decreased the percentage of sunny hours and other reasons. If these gaps are filled with large gravel, the intensity of the heat removal from this air will be noticeably better, which allows the average temperature of this air to be reduced by several degrees, and therefore the heat production of the roof increases, although I prefer to use not the gravel but old bottles filled with water, because the heat capacity of water is several times greater. Another solution is based on covering the roof with glass or transparent plastic, which turns our roof into a similar but larger solar air heater, which can heat air to high temperatures, up to a maximum of 100 degrees Celsius in winter. The next solution is to add mirrors on glass or plastic, or it could be sheets of mirror stainless steel, for example here. The mirrors give our roof this extra solar radiation, which not only increases that heat production but also increases the temperature of those metal sheets. This is another example where we can place mirrors here, temporarily only during the winter months. In addition, our roof can heat not the air but a heat transfer fluid, and you can find many examples of how someone did something similar, when the metal sheets of a roof will heat up these water pipes. Heating a liquid can increase the heat production almost two times compared to the described heating of air, and perhaps my future videos will describe the possibilities of these cases. I might also explore other ideas, for example using metal roofs as a heat source for a low-cost air source heat pump, or using solar panels instead of those metal sheets, which not only provides the heat to the house but also reduces the temperature of the panels in order to increase their efficiency and lifespan. Or using the same metal roof to cool the house at night in the summer, or using the same hot roof to heat the water of a pool in the summer or for hot water supply.